Hi, I'm Dr Sims. I'm Head of Classics here at Nottingham High School. And today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about what A-level classical civilization involves. Now, you may be wondering what classical civilization actually is. And it is the study of the classical world broadly defined between 800 BC and AD 400. And in this subject, we study the literature, the art, the culture and society of the Greeks and Romans. Um, this uh, course is, uh, combines the skills that you'll have learnt at GCSE English Literature and in GCSE History, and very much is a cross-section of those two qualifications. It explores a historical society, that of the Greeks and the Romans as well, together with uh, and uses the literary criticism skills that you have learnt in GCSE English. It's worth noting that you do not need to have studied Latin or Greek at GCSE before, and in fact, you don't even need to have a knowledge of the ancient world. We will teach you all of that over the course of these two years. The course that we take here at Nottingham High School is the OCR Classical Civilization course. And this comprises three key components. Uh, the first component that you'll study is World of the Hero, and this is worth 40% of your overall A-level. In this unit, we look at two epic poems over the course of the two years. The first of these, Homer's Odyssey, we study in year 12. And this poem is all about the aftermath of the Trojan War, of Odysseus's journey from Troy via the land of the Cyclops, Ogygia, the island of Calypso, and the land of the Phaeacians in Scariae, back to Ithaca, as he reclaims his wife, his household, and his son. In the latter half of year 12, and the rest of year 13, we will study Virgil's Aeneid, a poem again looking at the aftermath of the Trojan War, but this time from the perspective of the Trojan prince Aeneas. Here, he travels via Carthage to Italy to found what will become the Roman Empire. The, the second component that we will study is culture and the arts. Now here, there are four units that we can pick from. Greek theatre, all about Greek tragedy and comedy. Imperial image, all about Augustus and how he presented himself to his imperial subjects and how that kind of imagery is used by later regimes, such as Mussolini in Italy. Alternatively, we could study Invention of the Barbarian, which looks at how the Greeks perceived another non-Greco-Roman culture, namely the Persian Empire. And finally, we could study Greek art, which is all about the different types of art across a vast time period. Now, at the moment here at Nottingham High School, we offer Greek theatre, but it's worth noting there is incredible flexibility in this course. And if you have a particular option that you like the sound of, we are able to offer that here at Nottingham High School. The third component is beliefs and ideas, and again you have a choice of what you can study. We could take Greek religion, which looks at the role that religion played in the daily lives of Greeks. Love and relationships, all about the philosophical ideas in the ancient world of love and desire. Politics of the late Republic, all about how the Republic fell and how the Principate, that is the imperial system, came to be. And finally, democracy and the Athenians, all about the role of democracy in Athenian society. Here at Nottingham High School, we offer love and relationships as the unit that we teach, but again, there is expertise across the department to teach any of these units, should there be a particularly strong preference. In terms of what classical civilization involves, it's worth again reiterating you are not expected to have any knowledge of the ancient world whatsoever, or indeed of Latin and Greek. You can start this A-level completely from scratch, with no prior knowledge. We will teach you everything. The homeworks and the scheme of work in this particular subject involves a varied array of tasks, including reading around the subject, such as blog posts, scholarship, articles and listening to podcasts, preparation for lessons in terms of reading ancient texts and taking notes, and in time, writing essays. Currently, there are two teachers on this course, myself and Mrs Wheeler. Uh, we're very keen here in the Classics Department to very much go beyond the curriculum, and there are many opportunities for you to do so over the course of these next two years. We offer a variety of trips, including an EMAC sixth form conference, where you will hear lectures on all of these units from a variety of university professors and lecturers. We also, where possible and where available, offer trips to see local theatrical productions 
of Greek tragedy and Greek comedy, fully subsidised by the department. Where possible, we invite speakers in from university to very much go beyond the syllabus and to stretch and develop your knowledge here. In terms of where an A-level in classical civilization can take you, well, it can complement a vast array of subjects. For those of you who are interested in the humanities, such as English, uh, history and RS, this very much goes beyond the scope of those curricula. But equally, this subject complements the sciences as well. If we look at the leaving destinations of many of our students, we can see that many have gone on to classics, but equally we've had those going on to study medicine and veterinary sciences as well. Classical civilization very much complements a broad array of subjects. So why should you study classical civilization at A-level? It's a highly respected A-level, taken by a very small proportion of A-level students across the country. This means that you will stand out to university admissions tutors. It will also develop your skills in the humanities and certainly would serve as an alternative to the humanities subjects that you may have studied so far. Secondly, it allows you to develop your interests in the classical world. It may well be that you've read the Percy Jackson novels, for example, or seen Clash of the Titans, but, and you've been interested in the classical world as a result of that, but not necessarily the languages. Well, the great thing about classical civilization is that you can develop and explore that interest without needing to know the languages. Finally, it develops a range of study skills useful for university, including independent study, preparatory reading. It's also an essay-based subject, and for those of you who need an essay-based subject at university, and that is for the vast majority of courses, classical civilization is an unusual choice which will make you stand out. If you have any questions about studying classical civilization here at Nottingham High School, you're very welcome to speak to myself or Mrs Wheeler, and we'd be delighted to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. I like the fact that you get to study the ancient world. To be honest, I've been fascinated by the ancient world for a long time, like probably since year seven. So I always kind of wanted to take the subject, but I didn't actually know how broad the subject content was. So I was very happy with like when I got when I found out about it, how broad it was, because that interested me the most. And I like the text that we study. The Odyssey is really interesting. Uh, see the journey of Odysseus and how he how what troubles he has to go through. So that's really interesting. A lot of our lessons are really, really brilliant because there's a lot of stuff that we do and it's just really, really engaging. And I think that sometimes some lessons are just really, really similar, but like they, they're all really different and they're all really engaging. And I think a lot of the topics that we do are really interesting and so all of the lessons are just equally engaging. How much I would personally like not take from it but sort of how much I would get involved in with it so kind of like I'm not I do a lot more for it than my other lessons I do a lot of extra reading and I'm much more interested in kind of like looking around the subject than my other A-levels obviously I'm interested in them but um, even and actually this was the one that like I never really knew anything about it and then I did it and I was surprised that it's actually one that I've enjoyed significantly more than the other ones. They're very uh, deep. There's a lot, there's a bit, lot of books available to read around the subject, and there's always help which you can always find by I know emailing or just finding Dr. Sims around the school. He's very accessible. Usually, there's um, trips to either Italy or Greece, and then there's ones if you're in sixth form and you're doing classics to a uni, you go to like a kind of conference. Um, and then there's like various theatre trips. So if there's like any trips around Nottingham, like where a theatre's doing anything written um, by like an ancient poet, then you go to that. But um, we're not doing that this year because of coronavirus, but next year we might be going to do some of these. Miss Wheeler, who's the um, Greek theatre teacher at the moment, um, I've, she's been, she was my English teacher last year. So I've had her every year since I've been at the school. She's always been with my teacher since like, so I only joined in year nine and then I've had her the entire time I've been here. So it's always been like such a stable sort of thing having her and it's always so reliable knowing that like I've always got her every week. 
and I got on with her really well. She's really lovely. And then Dr. Sims only came last year, but he's also my tutor, so I spend a lot of time with him, and it's really easy to get to know them well. A typical lesson, we kind of, we go in and we have like a little bit of a chat and it's just really nice and we just kind of settle and then we do, with Miss Wheeler we do Greek theatre or with Dr Sims we do either, at the moment we do the Odyssey which is one of the two epics and then, or we do Greek theatre at the moment and then later we'll be doing Love and Relationships which is the other kind of like third of the course um, and we sit down and we do that and with Dr Sims we've been doing about vases and stuff and it's actually really surprising how interesting some of them are because you know when you look at a vase you're just kind of like okay it's a vase but then you look at it and you're like there's so much to some of them and they're really really interesting. The homework, well at the beginning of we started, we got a lot of reading or podcast listening and, and you had to make notes on that. That was very interesting because again it was just more reading around the subject and you're finding more about the ancient world. Um, also, then now we're starting to get an essay a week and that's interesting because the 10 mark essay is what you're going to do eventually so it's good that you're getting it because you get more practice. When I leave I want to study classical studies at university and that's why I did class civ, obviously. But I would have taken it anyway if I wanted to do something else, so it's that interesting. I'd say don't worry that you don't know anything about the ancient world, because they do teach you everything. Like, to be honest, there, some of the names in the ancient world are really hard to pronounce, and I didn't get it at all. And then the teachers, just, they just work with you, and it's fine, honestly. It's nothing to worry about.